Ladybird Readers Dangerous Journeys Picture Words Zebra Albatross Barnacle Geese Green Turtle Lion Crocodile Tiger Shark Chick Nest Lay Eggs Plains Cliffs Dangerous Journeys Sometimes animals make a long or a difficult journey. The journey can be to find food, to run away from other animals, or to have babies. Albatrosses Island near Hawaii Barnacle geese Greenland Some animals travel alone, and some travel in groups. Their journeys can often be very dangerous. Zebras East Africa Green turtles Near Australia Zebras Zebras eat grass. But when the weather on the plains is very dry, the grass stops growing. These hungry zebras need to make a journey across a very wide river because there is more grass to eat on the other side. The zebras can find more grass on the other side of the river. The Zebra's Journey The zebra's journey can be very dangerous. This part of the river is very busy with other animals. There are lots of animals that want to catch and eat the zebras. Two animals that like to eat zebras are lions and crocodiles. Zebras in the river. The zebras go to a quieter part of the river where there are no lions or crocodiles. But the water here is very fast and strong. This is very dangerous for the zebras. It is very difficult for this baby zebra to stand in the fast water. The other side. It is difficult, but finally the zebras get to the other side of the river. The lions and crocodiles have not caught them. These zebras have crossed safely to the other side of the river. Black-footed albatross. The black-footed albatross makes a nest for its eggs on hot islands in the North Pacific Ocean. When albatross chicks have grown big enough, they leave their island and live out on the ocean for a few years. They can fly very far, but starting their journey is the most dangerous part. An albatross's journey. To leave the island, a young albatross needs to fly. Its wings are very big. They are 1.83 meters from the end of one wing to the end of the other. This makes it difficult for an albatross to fly up from the ground and stay in the air. A young albatross tries many times to fly into the air from the beach, but it often comes down into the ocean. This albatross is flying into the ocean. Tiger Sharks in the Ocean This part of the journey is very dangerous because there are tiger sharks in the ocean. The tiger sharks are waiting to catch and eat any albatrosses that come down into the water. If an albatross is not caught, it can try to fly away. But it is much more difficult to get back into the air from the water. This albatross is being caught by a tiger shark. An ocean journey. This albatross has flown away from a shark. It is strong enough now to make a journey across the ocean. Later, it will come back to the island to find a partner and make a nest for their chicks. 
these young albatrosses will come back to the island to have their chicks. Barnacle geese. Barnacle geese make their nests and lay eggs on the top of high cliffs in Greenland. Here, they are safe from other animals, but there is no food. These goose chicks are in their nest. Soon after the chicks come out of the eggs, they have to make a very dangerous journey because there is nothing to eat on top of the cliffs. Down the cliffs. The mother and father geese fly down to the bottom of the cliffs and call to their chicks. Because they are so young, the chicks cannot fly yet. They have to jump and fall down the cliffs to get to their parents. It is very far for the chicks to fall. The chicks jump. When the chicks jump, they hold out their wings so that they fall more slowly. But they cannot fly, so it is very dangerous. The chicks often hit the sides of the cliff or fall badly. It is very easy for them to hurt themselves. This little chick is falling down the high cliff. Together again, the mother and father geese wait for the chicks at the bottom of the cliff. These chicks have come down safely. The family are together again, and they go to find food and water. This chick is safe with its mother. Green turtles. Green turtles can live for a hundred years or more. They usually live in the ocean for their first 25 to 50 years. A green turtle can find the food it needs in the ocean, but it has to come back to the beach to lay its eggs. After a green turtle has laid its eggs, it needs to get back to the ocean as soon as it can. Its journey can be very dangerous. Turtles on the beach. A green turtle knows the ocean very well, but the beach is a different world. It is difficult for a turtle to move around on the beach because its body is so heavy and slow. This green turtle must get back to the ocean fast. If it is still on the beach in the day, when the sun is strong, it can quickly get too hot. It will not be able to move or get water. This turtle is getting very hot in the sun. The turtle is stuck. The green turtle has had to pull itself over rocks as well as sand, which is very difficult. It cannot move between the rocks. Turtles need air. So if the ocean comes in and the water goes over the turtle's head when it cannot move, it will die. This green turtle is trying to climb over the rocks. Back in the ocean. Luckily, the waves helped to push the green turtle out of the rocks, and it is free to swim away. The turtle will have to make the same journey to lay more eggs every two to four years. All journeys. Some animals, like zebras and green turtles, make their journeys many times. They need to find food or keep themselves and their babies safe. Some animals, like the barnacle goose chicks and the young albatrosses, only make their journey once when they are young.